It's time to move over, BG3. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. And you're probably wondering, Aaron, what in the world is that? Great question. This is a brand new CRPG, classic role-playing game, that is coming early access to Steam very, very soon. And we just got a new gameplay trailer. Now, what we're going to do is talk about everything we know about this title. Of course, check out that gameplay trailer and the official Steam page. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right, let's jump right into this. Starting off with the title of the article, we're going to be looking at Black Geyser looks a lot like the Bioware RPG you've been waiting for. Never mind Baldur's Gate 3. This looks like the Infinity style CRPG I've been craving. Now, the author of this article really doesn't like Bioware. He rips on them a lot. And that's okay. It's because like so many other game studios, they are a shell of their former selves and they no longer make games like they used to. So I totally understand it. Now, when it comes to the CRPG space, the current kind of king of the mountain, even though the game is only in early access, is Baldur's Gate 3. And their new panel from hell is coming up later this week, which I will be covering on this channel for their large update five. But even with that game out there, is there still room in the CRPG space? I think so. And let's see if Black Geyser can fit that bill. Black Geyser, Careers of Darkness sure looks like a Bioware game. It isn't, because Bioware hasn't made Bioware games for centuries. This is in fact made by a small team, yet when it goes into early access next month, will apparently boast, ready for this? Real-time combat, a set of companions, and over three hundred thousand words of storytelling three hundred thousand successfully funded on kickstarter in 2018 it's fair to say black geyser has somewhat missed its august 29 release date fully funded in 2018 supposed to officially release 1.0 in 2019 and now we are getting early access in 2021 so let's just hope that those two extra years of development give us something special they really miss that mark. Inspired by games like Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale, it's clearly inviting some extremely dangerous comparisons. Yet looking at the footage in the trailer, it sure looks like a classic BW Infinity Engine game. It's going to have possible real-time combat, companions to buddy up with, all that dialogue, and a bunch of lore to go with it. Oh boy, if they can pull this off, it'd be pretty exciting. It's not like Bioware can be bothered to make proper CRPGs anymore, so someone else might as well completely lift the look and feel. I'm going to stop reading this. I think you get the idea. Now, when you are watching this trailer, you have to remember, this is not a game that focuses on visuals. This isn't a game that is built on Unreal Engine 4. This is a classic CRPG. So lots of lore, lots of dialogue. Lots of decision making that will change the story, change your companions, relationships. This is about playing a game that is deep and in-depth. So remember that. Because I know I'm going to get tons of comments. This game looks like crap. It's going to happen. Watch. Enjoy the official gameplay trailer for Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness.
just wanted to be clear, I totally understand that that gameplay trailer is not exhilarating. It doesn't get you all pumped up like an ARPG, but that's not what they're going for. These CRPGs are about deep lore, storytelling. Your decisions matter. It's a very different style and pace of a game. Now, of course, we have to check out the official Steam page, which we are on right now. Black Geyser is an isometric, party-based fantasy RPG inspired by genre classics. Recruit characters with unique personalities and explore a land, land ravaged by civil war in a mysterious curse of greed. Your choices, good or evil, will decide the fate of the kingdom. Now, the official early access release date, August 26th, 2021. It's a little over a month and a half. You can get your hands on Black Geyser. And of course, once we have the official Steam page, we have to look at system requirements. And I have to say, I was actually a little surprised looking at the visuals, what the system requirements were for this game. Scrolling down, Windows 10, Intel i7 or AMD Ryzen 5. 16 gigs of RAM, 40 gigs of storage space, and then NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Now, the graphics is not something that I thought was high. It's the system memory. 16 gigs of RAM to run it at recommended. I mean, most modern machines have that, but if you're a lot of machines still run on 8. So the memory might be a problem if you have an older computer. But that is it. Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. All right, everyone, that's the video. Today, I only have one question for you. Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. Will this game be wishlisted on your Steam page? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over a thousand members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.